If you need to simplify the fraction 25 thirds, here's how you can do that. So what we're trying to do is find another fraction that's equivalent. It's equal to 25 over three. It's just that we've simplified it or put it in lowest terms. To do that, we need to find a common factor, something that goes evenly into 25 and three. The thing is, the only number that goes into both 25 and three is one. That's the greatest common factor. So if we divide 25 by one, we get 25. Divide three by one, we get three, 25 thirds. And that's what we started with. So the fraction 25 thirds, it's already simplified. It's been reduced to its lowest terms. This is an improper fraction because we have a numerator that's larger than the denominator. So you could change it to a mixed number. Three goes into 25 eight times with one left over. And then we bring the denominator across. So 25 thirds, that's equal to eight in one third. So these are the same thing. But in answer to our question, the fraction 25 thirds, it's already simplified. We can't reduce it any further. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.